Welcome back. Today I am making a cart for a special dog uh, to help her um, walk. So let's do it. Uh, these are the parts. Uh, of course I have two of these. Uh, this is a part of a bed frame and these are just uh, broomsticks uh, that I, um, I selected. They were uh, the heaviest, so denser and it should be fine. I would have gotten with a uh, something a little thicker, but um, the um, other metal I had, the metal pipe I had, uh, was too big uh, for the wood I was able to find. So I'm gonna go with these. Uh, it's gonna be fine anyways, uh, but I would have uh, gone with uh, a little bit thicker wood, uh, uh, wood dowel, let's say. So the first problem I've encountered that you may not if you uh, if you decide to do something like that is uh, this because uh, I can't find a uh, pipe that goes in here uh, that I don't have to process, so I'm gonna use this and uh, uh, run it through the lathe, so it, it goes in here. But actually, you can find better um, wheels than these, maybe with a smaller um, hole or <laughs> something a little different. I need these because. Uh, my friend that asked me to do this, um, she want to bring um, the dog uh, to the beach, so uh, they need to be thick, so it they do not sink. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, this is just a little bit bigger and uh, you can, well, mm, that's it, maybe you can find something which uh, fits better, but I'm just gonna uh, clamp it uh, in, the, in the lathe and uh, use some sandpaper to, to make it fit, otherwise you could just, uh, since it doesn't, it, it just has to go in for like five centimeters, uh, you could just uh, use a knife or uh, sandpaper by hand. There's lots of other ways. That's 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 just the way uh, that I want to do it now. This is uh, 120 grit sandpaper, by the way.
Okay, that's that's a jig I came up with. I cleaned both parts. One is longer. This is seven centimeters, and this is uh, six. Uh, doesn't really matter. I think it's pretty good since this one is the part where the wheels are gonna be attached to, and this is one the one that uh, is going uh, on the top part of the. Uh, harness um, I put it like that so I can make it uh, make this one and the other one uh, with the same angle or close to the same angle let's see if it works Okay, they they are pretty close, and the angle seems the same. Of course, they must be right and left, but they're pretty close. It's not crucial to be uh, like super precise, but they <laughs> they should be close as they are. So. Uh, now I will weld it all the way so it uh, it stays together because that that's just a tuck weld to see if it was right. Okay, now, might not be the best, but uh, it should hold great. And if you watch inside those uh, imperfections, let's say, dimples that you see are actually from the welding. So I reached uh, full penetration and uh, I should be safe with it. Okay, this sleeve is pretty good and I have to make another one. I actually made these two holes so I can weld uh, 
and uh, it should be super secure. Uh, let's say I, I've been uh, pretty lucky because uh, these are still the pieces of the uh, legs of the um, folding bed uh, frame and uh, now I'm going to um, weld this on so I can put the wheels and I've been pretty lucky let's say because otherwise I would have done this but that's easier. <laughs> Here I actually added uh, this because the legs were spreading too much. Also, she she's supposed to relax the. She's supposed to relax her legs. We 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 added uh, this because this wasn't supporting her enough. Um, she she should relax, but she doesn't. <laughs> Ah, yeah, man. So, lady, good boy. Oh, <laughs> bravissima. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 So guys that was it for this video hope you liked it and if you're into making stuff or art stuff you can check out these videos 
also you can subscribe if you don't want to lose any other videos I make and uh, well that's it thank you for watching and see you next time ciao ciao